Hey guys, so I'm back um, from my trip to Cali. I took a week off, or two weeks technically, and I enjoyed some time with my family. And of course, while I was there, I definitely did some shopping. Um, this is worth, uh, this is like a week worth of shopping, and it was extreme shopping. I usually don't. Um, shop this much and I don't usually buy and spend this much in a short, short amount of time but I was with family and I definitely saved up for this trip so I could shop with my family and my cousin was kind of a bad influence on me but I was a bad influence on her so we ended up buying um, a lot of stuff from the same stores but I don't think I did that much damage even though looking at it I kind of think I did. It's in a big um, bag that I kind of got beat up but this is where our majority of my stuff is I'm definitely really excited to get into this because I can start using some of these things that I bought and I just put it aside so that way I could film this haul for you guys and please be aware that you know I saved up my money for this I don't do this on a normal basis so anyhow let me just jump right into here so the first thing that I'm going to talk about um it's not really that organized but PacSun, um, we went to Great Mall in California and PacSun was having a lot of good deals. They had deals on these um, slippers here and it was buy one, get one free. So with these slippers, it was $14.95. So um, I picked up two Roxy pairs. Um, this one is just a white one. I thought it was really neat and really fun. And then I got some simple brown ones to get rid of my really old black ones that I've had and I already used these. And while I was there, um, I was so surprised to have stumbled upon one of my favorite high school scents. And it was one of the scents that I've always worn that I always wore during high school. And let me just get right into it. So the fragrances were um, buy one get one 50% off. So I picked up two because I have not been able to find this ever since high school. Um, I think during my junior year. I want to say junior year is when is the last time that I wore it but it's this green noli um, scent and I don't know what exactly is in it but it smells so fresh and it does have somewhat of a fruity scent to it but oh my gosh this was my scent back in high school this is what the packaging looks like I love it brings back memories it's so free it's really light, but it has a floral, florally scent to it, and it has like a mix of floral and I want to say some fruity aspects to it, like guava. It smells kind of similar to my pink fragrance that I use a lot, but this was definitely <clears throat> a throwback for me, and I was so glad to have found this, and I freaked out when I saw it because I was telling the sales lady, you know, I haven't found this ever since high school. She was like, when was high school? And I said, about four years ago. So I've gone a long time without this, and I love the smell. It brings back so much memories, um, but yeah, so glad I was able to find that. I went to Victoria's Secret so I definitely snagged the 5 for $26.50 deal. Um, I'm not gonna go individually because nobody needs to know that business. I'm so excited to see that um, in California there is a Daiso and luckily for me there is a Daiso almost everywhere that we went and I was definitely excited to go in and check it out. Now if you don't know what Daiso is, it's basically a really affordable um, Japanese brand store and everything there is $1.50 unless otherwise stated and so so I've always seen them on like in Washington State, um, California, I knew had it for sure and not unfortunately Vegas doesn't have any. So when I saw it, I definitely had to go check it out and so what I bought was I got um, these three pack pair of lashes and these are kind of more extreme but from afar they don't look as bad but they're really... Um, really long and spiky which is really exciting for me the only thing I'm worried about is that I think the band does seem a little bit thicker than what I usually would like from a band but um, we'll see once I try it out and then I also I'm already using it so I just have the wrapper but I bought um, a pen case and it's just a clear simple pen case and I thought you know it'd be great to just carry in my purse because um, I have just like a cloth uh, purse or cloth bag thing that I keep my pens in and it's not really the pra most practical thing to keep in my purse so I thought a pen case would definitely be worthy of it and it was just a clear one and so it was nothing really special and then I picked this up for my grandma and if you don't know what this is um 
I think if you've ever gone driving, and I hate to be kind of like racist here or stereotypical, but if you've seen an old Asian lady with this on her face or arm, this is um, basically just an arm sleeve to keep the sun from tanning you. And then from a different Daiso location, I picked up a couple other things. So I went ahead and I picked up another pair of lashes. They're only $1.50, so you really couldn't beat it. Um, so I picked up these, and these are a little more crisscrossed than the other ones. And I don't know, the band is somewhat similar to the other ones, so I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but hopefully I end up enjoying them. I picked up a set of bobby pins, uh, mainly because I'm hoping that these are kind of like the bobby pins that I've already had, where it's like a really, real metal, and it's not just a flimsy metal that, um, that the other companies like Conair and Goody have switched to, which for me doesn't... It doesn't give me that sense of security when I bobby pin And the last thing that I picked up from Daiso was this liquid eyeliner. And I was really excited to try it because I'm like, it's $1.50. I needed a new liquid liner and really badly. So, and I was, and I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't too excited to go out and buy one because I don't know how long this phase that I'm in will last. Like, I'm in a liquid liner phase right now. And before I was just in like, you know, the brown pencil liner phase and then I was in the gel liner phase and then I was in just the water lining and tight lining type of phase. So I don't know how long this phase is gonna last and I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a liner if I wasn't gonna use it a lot. Let me just throw that away. So I picked up this liner and it's felt tip and it looks pretty dark, like that's pretty impressive in my opinion. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this is by Clean Color and it's their waterproof eyeliner pen. And then we went to Great America and definitely whenever I go to Great America I have to pick up a couple of things. So I did pick up cups for me, this one's for me, and I picked this one up for my boyfriend just so that he had something small and it was like he was at the trip but it was on sale so let's just take that sticker off before well he might watch this so it was on sale it was five dollars um but yeah so it just says great america and it was kind of just something that i always do whenever i go to great america because it's not like i go there a lot and i really actually enjoy great america a lot more than disneyland it's a more of a snoopy based type of amusement park but at the same time the snoopy base is kind of more towards the kids area and then you have like roller coasters and other rides to choose from so that's why i like it a lot more so basically this cup is just um, a coffee cup a hot liquids cup and um, i thought it would be great to just be able to make my coffee in it and it's also really slim and really small so I can actually it's really good for portion control for me um, with coffee I can get a little crazy and drink a lot more than I really should so <laughs> this is definitely gonna help me keep that under control and then this is just a regular tumb tumbler from um, Great America and it's in blue I was gonna pick one up for me in red but um, I figured that I would probably get a lot more use out of the coffee cup because I do tend to drink more coffee. This Forever 21 trip, um, I actually picked up two items and the first item I picked up was this really nice cobalt blue shirt. It's nothing, it's nothing too drastic. It's just a really simple basic cobalt blue shirt and this is what it looks like. And it's a little cropped, but I like that style. The one thing that really drew me to this was the sleeves as no, you guys don't know. But I have a lot of issues with sleeves, um, mainly because I don't like my arms and so I tend to want to hide them a lot. So sleeves that are a bit, bit a little bit longer are things that I am naturally drawn to. So I definitely was drawn to this because of the sleeves and the fact that it was kind of like a crop top and a, like it'll, it'll cover most of my arms. So definitely picked that up. And then at the same time, I picked up this gray shirt and I've already worn it. And it's just another simple, great basic shirt that you can just pair with anything. Um, I wore this to Great America. It was extremely breathable. It kept me cool throughout the day and I wasn't like, it wasn't too hot while I was wearing it. So that was nice. So those two are from that first Forever 21 trip. And next Forever 21 trip. Uh, I spent a lot of time at Forever 21, but, okay, okay. 
So at this trip, um, I picked up this nice kimono type robe. And the reason why is because I was looking for a kimono throw over for the longest time, but I could not find one in Forever 21, which is kind of the biggest gripe that I have with Forever 21. The fact that it's like almost impossible to find anything, like a specific item there. You kind of just have to roam around the store and look through every single rack if you really want to find some cool stuff. So my cousin, <laughs> she tried on this robe because it was similar to one that we found and we figured, both of us figured, that you know we can just tie this in the back and we can just throw it over like one of those regular kimonos, kimono throwovers and nobody could tell the difference because it kind of is, it looks like it. It looks like that's what it's supposed to be. And so she modeled it and she tried it on a lot and I ended up really liking the way it looks and so she ended up buying it and I ended up buying it. Um, so basically what we did was we'll tie it, we tied it in the back like this. I don't know if you can see. But we tied it at the back so that it kind of cinches the, at the waist. And then you have the opening which is like a regular kimono. So that's what I picked up for that trip. And then I also picked up this um, red tank top, white tank top, and black tank top. So kind of like basics. And the red tank top of course was to go with that. And so that was I picked up this blue kimono throw over which has been my favorite and I've been wearing a lot lately. And um, I picked this up, I don't know, I think like a day before we left. And so I was so excited to find it. I believe it was like around $15, so it was really affordable. And it's just a great throw over. And like I said, I don't like exposing my arms, but with the summer here, I definitely want to wear tank tops. And the way, great way to do it is through this. It's really light, it's breathable, and you don't feel overheated in it. And a lot of people thought that I would get really hot wearing this, but it was extremely cool. It's breathable, and whenever the wind blew, it just felt like regular. Wind. Another thing that I picked up from Daiso was this little porcupine guy. It's so here, but um, this is just basically to wipe my bowling balls and it is a microfiber mitten. So it's great because in bowling we use regular microfiber cloths. So it's just kind of like the same thing, but if I'm bowling bad, at least this little guy will cheer me up a little bit because he's adorable and he's cute and I'm gonna keep him in my bag. I made two trips to Victoria's Secrets. It's kind of bad, but um, I swear I went in there with like a good intention and good purposes and um, the second trip was with my mom and my auntie so that was a little bit different. The first trip was just with my cousin and I told her, I'm like, okay, this is going to be really bad if we go into pink but I need to go there just to see what's going on but if they have any deals and they did and I took advantage of that and I don't know if I should feel proud of it or what but... <laughs> They had a deal on their fragrance sets, or fragrances, their pink fragrances and body lotions and stuff. And it was buy three for 30. And I thought that was a great deal because majority of the stuff that from pink are over $10. That's the one thing that I went in for and it's my pink, wild, and breezy scent. And this is my scent. Um, I've used the scent for the past three years. Um, ever since I discovered it, I've been using it. And mainly because I've run out of that Noli perfume and I didn't have any other scent. And I kind of hated going around without an identity. I feel like when you find a scent, you kind of match your identity to it. And so this scent, um, it's my scent. <laughs> it's everything that I've ever... I feel like it's me in a bottle, basically. And what it is, it's red guava and passion flower. And this is extremely florally, florally, I can't say that word. And, um and fruity at the same time but it's really fresh it's nothing too overwhelming it's nothing too berry like it's nothing too fruity nothing too florally it's very mild it's in between and that's what I liked about the Noli scent as well it's very mild very in between so this is definitely my scent. so I decided to go ahead and pick up the two lotions that they had and this is the regular hand and body cream and then this is just the body lotion so the reason why I picked the two lotions is because I felt like this I could just toss in my bag and then I can keep at home next to my shower so that way I can just moisturize and um, basically bathe myself in my own skin. And then on that second visit, I also picked up one of the pink water bottles or water jugs thingies there. Um, 
I've been definitely wanting one of these for the longest time and I saw this print there and I just fell in love with it. I mean, I feel like it just, it's its me again. Like this is my print, this is me in a bottle. Um, I have me in a sliver because I mean, I think you can tell that I kind of like the whole summery or beachy aspects. Um, you know, I kind of have those things so that's me. And so I was really excited to find the Air Apostle. And um, they had a great deal, or that store that we went to had a lot of things on clearance. And so I was definitely rummaging through the bins, but I just took some of the things that I think I would really like. And um, I definitely made sure to actually like the products or like the things that I picked and make sure that I could figure out ways to use them. So the first thing that I have is this tribal print um, crop top and this is what it looks like and I think it was on clearance for $8 so that wasn't bad at all. So it's a nice orangey coral colored and it has the tribal prints on it and this is definitely something that I've been wanting for a long time. I've definitely been wanting um, tribal prints for a really long time but I just never really found one that I really liked and I fell in love with this the instant that I saw it so I was so glad that it was in my size. Honestly though I never tried it on so that's a boo-boo on my part but um, looking at it I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit but um, like the one thing that I didn't like though was again the sleeves but you know I do have throwovers that I can use so it's never that bad of a thing the second thing that I picked up was this cute little tiger um, what is it called tiger sweatshirt crop top thingy and I thought this would be great for when it's transitioning into fall and I need to go to the library and study where I just need a really quick casual outfit I can just pair this with skinny jeans or whatever and I can go out the door and look at the face like I feel like they put like a baby tiger cubs face on here so that way you can buy it I don't know, the face was just adorable. So it definitely caught my eyes and it looks really comfortable. It looks really warm and but not too thick, which is something that I really like. So I'm really excited about that. And then I picked up, oh, and that was, where was the price on that? This one was on clearance for $8 as well. And the last thing that I picked up was the Live, Love, and Dream um, yoga shorts. And I've been loving these types of shorts, like the shorts with the uh, little detail on the top and then it's just black on the bottom. And then if like it's basically like this type of a shorts. But I love the color. I think it might, looking at it now, I think it might be just a little too big, but that's okay. I'd rather have it big than small anyways. But these are, look, it looks super comfortable. Um, and this was on clearance for $6. So you couldn't really be the last things that I purchased from Catwells in California is something that I'm really excited about. And it was from my, one of the stores that I always wanted to go to, but we don't have one here in Vegas, which I am extremely frustrated about. But it's okay, because I found one in Cali, and it's the face shop. So let me just go into the things that I actually purchased. So what I purchased was one of these color soundtrack um, blushes. And this is in the color Pink Peach. And again, well for this product, I'm not going to um, swatch it right now because I'm going to, I'm planning to do a review on it. So of course, I need to take pictures of it before I can do anything. But I love, first of all, the packaging is so cute, but it's extremely difficult for me to open. Um, hold on. Arr. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's really cute. It's like a really nice pink blush or peachy blush, and I thought this would be really great. Um, so I wanted to definitely check that out. It's really sturdy packaging. And then I also purchased a fresh lip balm. And again, I'm going to review this product, so I am not going to swatch it, but I am going to open it. And I was really um, wanting to try out some of their stuff because I've heard a lot of great things about it. And one had opened back home in Hawaii, so I was very jealous about that. And so I wanted, I was going to ask one of my friends if she could pick up some stuff for me to try, but um, I decided not to. I just ruined my nails, but that's okay. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. 
it's so, so really good but um it's just a light pink color and i thought this would be perfect just to moisturize my lips throughout the night um before the morning because i tend to do wear i tend to wear um staining lip balms and so they do dry out my lips a lot so i was hoping that this might help that and i picked up just one sheet mask um i really wanted just to try it and i this one was one of the ones that was close to being sold out so i based off of that i decided why not purchase it so yeah so it's the pearl face mask and this i believe is supposed to help brighten your skin um anyhow i purchased this and i just wanted to try it and i'm really into skincare right now so I was definitely into that. that's the last thing that i bought from my trip to cali and i i don't know looking at it i still don't think it's that much and i think i did a good job of controlling myself and picking up things that i needed um the things that i did not pick up that i needed though were like bottoms like shorts and skirts or stuff like that um stuff so those swords and slippers or sandals as well but you know I think I'll accumulate those things hopefully before the semester starts. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also check out our websites. And please remember that this is not normal for me. I don't usually spend this much money in this short amount of time. Um, this was like a week worth of shopping. And to be honest, it was like four days worth, no, five days worth of shopping because two days we didn't really go out and then the last day we left so, so yeah. i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have a recent haul video definitely leave the link down below i love watching haul videos especially um makeup haul videos um it lets me know what products are out there so if you have one you should let me know down below and again please comment rate and subscribe and I, we will see you in our next video bye